Con coming up. It sounds like that's what we're getting first. So Bonk, a staple with that Meta Knight. I know he also has a Ken, but it's the Meta Knight that we're really here for. Con Con tries. He tries so hard to get rid of this Bayonetta, yet the Witch keeps calling him back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, listen, uh, I know a lot of people didn't think that Bayonetta was any good at all when the game first came out. I thought they were always kind of decent, but they've gotten some pretty solid buffs. they got some pretty solid buffs lately, and they're actually a pretty solid character. I mean, there's a lot of things that maybe aren't fixed, but this character's not bad by any means, and they can do some pretty crazy stuff. However, uh, bringing out the Bayonetta against Meta Knight, uh, that's a little scary because this ball is small, and they've got some really active hitboxes here. It's cause a lot of trouble for characters like Bayonetta. And this may in fact be a player call a little bit. You know that Bonk loves to, whoa, do that. You know that Bonk loves to do that. It kills off of the eternal 50-50. You have to deal with Meta Knight. That quick mm -hmm. initial dash often makes a dash attack or dash grab a very ambiguous thing to do. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was a crazy knockback angle <laughs> off the side B trade. Yeah, things can be a little awkward here, especially with Meta Knight, because um, Meta Knight's got a lot of multi-hit moves, right? And a lot of multi-hits in this game uh, have some very strange properties. It's actually been a problem. Like, I know we just saw Luminous with Pit, but Pit Dark Pit had some really awkward multi-hit boxes for a little while. Uh, also, speaking of multi-hits, that Rapid Jab there, actually a kill move now for Bayonetta. Yeah, but it has the same problems. It can uh, oftentimes fall out if you're not in the right position, but center stage isn't gonna do it maybe it'll do it now but the fourth throw all the same will cover all of those bases for con con only 10 percent on him he was doing an incredible job in game one uh, in the early part of this game one but fell victim to the bonk kill combo he read your di and you died so oh let's got make sure it doesn't happen again if you're a con con but bonk that's exactly what you're looking for with all of these up here oh for sure for sure uh, but right now, man, Bonk's gonna try and continue to put this pressure down. I mean, Kankan -Kan did a very good job kind of baiting him to that dash attack so he could get that kill earlier. But this is the problem, man. Bonk has no problem going that deep to chase you, right? Thankfully, you're Bayonetta. Bayonetta, again, another character with a lot of fantastic recovery options. Very active hitboxes as well. It's kind of hard to edge guard Bayonetta. But <laughs> Meta Knight does happen to have those tools and have the tools to actually ladder them up, you know, giving Bayonetta a taste of their own medicine. Crossed up his DI as well, crossing up the DI on the shuttle loop by using a very uh -oh, middle uh -oh. position of up air, and he's looking for double dipping, trying to find the full kill. That's, I guess, the huge difference of these two characters. They have many ladder combos and many great extensions, but Bonks are on point, and oftentimes, if you're on point with Meta Knight's combo game, it results in kills instead of damage. Yet the same thing can be said for Feo, just finding it. Mm -hmm. And Bonk, unfortunately, was not able to escape that death trap but 61 percent here to zero and honestly sometimes it's just a touch of death for both of these characters so we'll kind of see who can get that initial opening con con going for the heel slide wasn't able to get the opening that they wanted the connections oh this is a tough spot to be in but man con con finding the way back to stage which twist has been such a huge boon for con con just a mid-air dp that he can go for get out of your combo and make it my the heel slide as well, finding the upper into forward or getting that first spin lead back. Let's see if he can find that closer down smash. That's a little bit quicker, but not quick enough. Now we're back at this crazy neutral with the witch time read. Holy, whether it was a witch time or an air dodge read, either way, it results in the same bonk with that F smash finisher for game one. Yeah, that's a strong F smash as well, because it's kind of, uh, it, again, Meta Knight doesn't have a lot of very large hitboxes, right? But that one in particular is very, very strong, and you got a little bit of that extra charge on it as well, and Bayonetta being as light as they are, there was no way they were surviving that one. Beautifully set up from Bonky, like, he's got a smile on right now, he's happy with himself. Yeah, I wonder if Konkan wanted to land on the platform with that Witch Time, or maybe was going for a mix up like the drop through platform into Witch Time. Either way, it did not work out for them at all, and they just said, yeah, maybe I need a little bit more space against this Bonk's Meta Knight, which is kind of chewing him alive. Uh, chewing them alive, excuse me. Yeah, uh, we'll definitely see how it continues to go from here. I mean, PS2 is a really solid stage for Bayonetta for the most part. You got, Again, you got a lot of space to kind of really try to find your opening, try to bait and punish as much as oh, you can, bad. but it's also a really solid spot for Meta Knight 2. They're both going to be able to make it back. The batch within is barely saving Con Con, allowing them to get back to stage and open up their own combo here. Yeah, but great SDI from Bonk. He's been through the works with this Bayonetta. He knows, yeah, I got an SDI and get out of this combo ASAP. 
percents are in favor of Con Con right now, but that, I mean, that can change as a drop of a hat. He goes for the Condor dive, but just missing, and unfortunately not grabbing ledge as well. So, open to punish, but nothing crazy. Okay, but then we got the dash attack right there from Con Con, just trying to get that stage control again. 120 to 72, Con Con does have a pretty solid lead. And this is the problem. Once you get some of those higher percentages, it's hard for Bayonetta to really get these openings that they need to be able to close these stacks out. Right now though, oh, okay. They were trying to go for that rapid jab to really get that stock out of here. And Pong has just been harassing them with these down tilts. Yeah, the tech chasing, I mean, we know bunk has got some crazy ladder combos, but the grounded setups with down tilt have been on point as well. Bunk, and he's able to close out with the strong, or the later hit of Nair. Bayonetta, not the heaviest, and with that amount of rage, there's plenty to go for for Bonk, assuming that Connor can't close out this stock right now, and the dash attack will do it. Yeah, 195, the <laughs> anybody's dash attack should be oh, yeah. killing there. Uh, so great stuff from Con Con, just kind of having the, the guts to throw that out and not worry about Bonk trying to get some crazy punish. And that's, okay, this pass within has saved Con Con twice now. Unfortunately, they're still at a bit of a deficit here, 53%. And Bonk just continues again to harass them wherever they go. But these bats within are super crucial. We need to see if the contact can get this to be a little more consistent. Though. Okay, we're getting a full combo, or an almost full combo, but 22 now, and still missing that shuttle loop yet. I love that he just is able to direct himself right to ledge with a clean fastball. Like, yep, I'm gonna miss this combo, but I still know how to cover myself. Oh, okay, yeah. Trying to go for these uh, afterburner kicks down. Uh, wow, angle down. I'm all over the place with my words. There's just so much action actually going on here. This is actually pretty quick, all, all things considered. But yeah, these two are definitely trying to space these things out pretty carefully because again once either of these people uh they, they make the wrong move it just seems to be big punishes like right there that could have been a much bigger punish but it seemed like bonk was more committed to the dash attack before recognizing that they could have gotten something a little bigger and oh my goodness the condor dive you called it out earlier they've tried it a couple times since then and finally getting it to work with a good reversal on the upbeat that using that shuttle loop still finding their recovery Bonk has just been able to make so much more out of his openings. While Con has been getting damage, Bonk's been getting stocks. One is clearly better than the other for sure as he misses a... as he's able to pop out of the Witch Twist and maybe looking for that backer was Con Con still hunting for it. And there we go. Ooh. Okay, there we go. He's using those down tilts again to try and uh, harass and pressure Con Con into making a move. Oh my god! He just barely rolled back in time. I felt like there was no way he should have survived there. I mean, who knows, right? Oh, still, <laughs> and even the bullet arts isn't going to save him. Bonk's back air will not be denied. <laughs> I just can't believe that Bonk has dodged two smash attacks that close. Like, those were like fairly close enough to the point where I felt like they should have been connecting, but there we go. We're going to see that the, ooh, the rinse cycle try to get started, but the back air will be what closes out that second stock there. 79%. This is not looking good for Con Con. No, not in the slightest yet. Hey, one touch is all Bayo needs sometimes, but Punk's defense has been pretty crazy. Still looking for the platform reset yet. Finding an afterburner kick has been nice. A quick 40, but... Bonk using that back air is surprisingly big given Meta Knight's rather uh, diminutive sword, making the most out of it. Yeah, the Witch Twist. Yeah, that was actually a really good uh, spot from Con Con. They kind of just dashed to the center of the stage, held shield, and just invited Bonk to try and make an aggressive play. And got a nice little punish out of it. Probably could have been something a little more, but still looking for that. Oh my god, the immediate conversion into the shuttle loop. It will not close out the stock. That Nair, I'm pretty sure, got buffed at one point in Ultimate. Hey, I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, Meta Knight not... Mo oh, hello. Meta Knight's not the most known for character, not the most represented character, but it's still going to be enough to close out that Bayonetta and close out Con Con 2-0 in this Winterside Top 16. We're going to another look at that Condor dive and just how good Bonk has been playing on platforms, oftentimes wave landing on, uh, on and off dropping through to find out there's always hounding Connor who was playing right he was up being out of shield a ton but I guess Connor, whether it be stubbornness or great spacing punk just found his way to close out the game mm -hmm. yeah no uh, it's just bonk being bonk uh, this <laughs> dude honestly can can compete with some of the best I remember actually at the comeback down at Xanadu, uh, I, if I remember correctly, they went like game three, like last stock, last hit against Tweak. Um, and again, Tweak's easily top three, 
Korea. Top two could potentially be argued as the best sometimes, uh, depending on how they're feeling. I mean, MK Leo's is, is Leo. But, um, yeah, I mean, if you could do that with a player of that caliber, you're definitely doing something right. I mean, I know Meta Knight's got some faults, but the way that Bonk plays this character certainly makes them look a lot better than they really are sometimes. I mean, yeah, it's kind of Sheen, like, yeah, Meta Knight's got a pretty solid punish game, but his neutral is kind of just an eternal 50-50, and he makes that 50-50 look crazy with his queen pokes, the mix-ups that he has between rapid jab, dash attack, dash grab, and down tilt. Of course, having that combo game and new kill setups on point is all the same and all the more glorious. I mean, Bonk has wins on players like 